Big Race, Paul Cards is in the house. Bernie H. Hey, darling, Big Ray. Sorry I was late. My wife needed me to print off a recipe from her phone for her at the last minute. But other than that, I would have been live on time. Hope all you guys are doing good. Having a grand old day this uh, Wednesday. Let me get my streams up and running here. We'll get this show on the road. Hopefully, now that I'm five minutes late. What's new? But I'm smiling. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's get the chat up on this one, let's get the chat up on this one, let's see, gotta do a refresh first, Bond on. as soon as you get the refresh, fresh, you can get going. We are on the third tier. Didn't make it to the fourth yet, probably, probably today, in case you're wondering. Okay, got that light turned off. Got a lot of equipment that doesn't work quite right, huh? Pretty each five minutes ain't bad, Donald. I know, I know. It's just I try and do everything, start the show on time. And the last minute things, hon, can you pr print this out for me? I need this recipe. Mexican meatball soup. I guess she wants to try that next. Uh, to the fourth, yeah, problem. Okay. Let me get everything up and rolling here. We'll be good to go. From what I can see in the chat so far, it looks like we're uh, Three thumbs up, maybe four. Oh, we got Big Ray, Bernie, and it's a Big Ray and Bernie here. Two. When married ain't easy. I can't see it. I, I gotta figure out how to move this heart. That is so annoying. Oh, my word. Anybody know how to get this emoji thing out of the way? Oh, there you go. My wife's Filipina. So, yes. It's, I need this now, not later. And it's always got to be when I'm trying to enjoy a, a little bit of a bite to eat before I try and squeeze in my show on time. She, at least today she didn't want to go shopping in any stores. So that went okay. But we stayed home and I was sorting cards most of the morning. And now we're getting into our live stream here. So other than that, I'm doing good. This all adjusted. And we'll get this show on the road at almost 10 after. Let's see, we got 204, 209. One more minute for the five minute pretty birds to be in here. We got 209 and the early birds, so whoever's here gets in the early birds today. get into that I'll go through my patreon tiers so I can log in early birds we will have a trivia today for Wednesday March the 20th with some baseball birthdays and a five-pointer for the trivia 
new 2024 Patreon Rookie Class tiers, which will include rookie cards, rated rookies, gold cups, rising stars, prospects, minor leaguers, etc., etc. Triple tiers will contain one newer rookie card type from the 2020 time frame. Now, I said 2000 yesterday. I don't know why I said that. The 2020 time era and newer. Possibly, if I can. We'll figure it out. I only got one Patreon in the rookie tiers right now anywhere, and that's Cards in My Car with Arposada. Hopefully he's liking the packages I sent him. All right, so triple threes, tier one, four cards. Triple fives, tier six, six cards. Triple sevens, tier three, eight cards. And triple nines, tier four, ten cards. Quad tiers will contain at least one Hall of Fame rookie card type. All right, the quad ones, tier five, 12 cards. The quad twos, tier six, 25 cards. And the quad threes, tier seven, 40 cards. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick commercial break. Let's get into our content at hand with logging in early birds real quicker. And so far it looks like, let me do a refresh real quick here and get this out of the way. We got Big Ray was first in the live stream today. I know I'm going to be back here just so I have space. Two for Big Ray. Then we have Bernie. Bernie with two. All right. Big Ray, Bernie, B Big Ray. Matty Ice Cards is in the house. Matty Ice Cards with a two plus. Matty Ice, Matty Ice. Mark, Bernie, and Don. Matty, Addy, Addy. All right. So, looks like we got a whopping three people in here. Maybe I will do it. I, I was going to make an option of maybe doing once a week sales on my channel. Or try and do them more often as soon as I finish out how to do what's up. Or what not. Yeah, what not. Because you can sell what not. You can sell whatever you want on what not doesn't have to be just baseball cards. It can be anything on whatnot. Am I saying whatnot enough? Because I'm trying to figure out this whatnot. And if I can figure out this whatnot, not what, what's up, whatsapp. Is it whatsapp? Now I'm confused. <laughs> That's easily. Whatnot. There we go. Yeah, whatnot. Not what's up, whatnot. Whatnot. If you can sell anything on whatnot, and it's a lot easier than I think, without having to put an online inventory. I have my online inventory with my eBay. So it's whatnot. There we go. Thanks, Maddie. Whatnot. So, because when I can't even get barely 10 people in a live stream, maybe I can get more people showing up on whatnot for sales. But I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out before the end of this month so I can have my first auction the first Saturday. Uh, initially, I might just do it every Saturday. Thinking about doing Saturday auctions. Okay. So if you guys are doing and all you gotta do is go to what uh, go to whatnot and just look up my name as a seller or slash user. My username is Don Blomdahl, H O F. So it kind of ties in with my YouTube channel anyway. Okay? So it's Don Blomdahl, H O F, Hall of Fame. Okay? That is just like here Don Blomdahl, Hall of Fame. But just H O F is. So Don Blomdahl, H O F, is my whatnot. One of these days I'll pin it in the chat here so you can find out. I'll, I'll, I'll make a link for it. No, a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do give you the link for my my what's my whatnot. Give you the link for my whatnot. I think I can get it somewhere here. Let me look really quick. Let 
Oh, here we go. Actually, yeah, if you do that and you make a purchase, uh, I can receive credit so I can buy stuff. Let me do that real quick. Let me get back to my stream here real quick. Let's uh, put this in here. And I'm going to pin it. Maybe. <laughs> if I get this out of the way now. There we go. Start everything at a dollar and let it run from there and make sure your shipping is posted, set, and clear is what I've heard. Works best as well as setting any other prices ahead of time. Yeah, that's I think if I gotta figure that one out, but you can do it be between each auction as I'm talking to the people in the channel and that way I can mix it up and s give you whatever you want. If you want to look for your team cards, uh, and I'm primarily probably going to be selling inserts, autographs, relics, things of that nature that I'm not doing much on eBay yet. Okay, let me get this, pin it, there we go, now it's pinned there, uh, that's my whatnot channel, that's an invitation to my whatnot, how's that sound? And you can see it there. Um, but yeah, that'll bring that'll give you a link to get you to whatnot, and then you can just find me that way. How's that sound? So we're gonna do that for now. And I got Matty Ace, Big Gray, and let's see. I got Bernie H, Big Gray, Bernie H, Big Gray, Matty Ice, Bernie H, Matty A, Big Gray. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So I think I've got three people here today. Bernie. H Big Rays Ball Cards and Matty Ice Cards. Did I forget anybody? If not, forever hold your peace. Because that'll get you your uh, $1 sell with one minute timer that resets after each bid. Seems to work best as well done. That's what that's what I've been looking at. I've been watching different auctions. I've participated in a few auctions and I've talked to a few people on there it's just a matter I don't want to do the inventory so I gotta figure out uh, I might do I might do a test with a couple of mods so if you get logged in and if you're create it's a free account I guess to buy and stuff but then you just have to verify it so they can make sure you're a verified buyer and stuff like that Maddie quit holding your piece Oh, thanks there, Matty Ice. Yep, appreciate that. I'll get the notifications when I log into my whatnot. I know I've got uh, Chuck Dupree. I've got uh, Mickey. The ones that are on my YouTube channel as Blue Wrenches, I'll make you a moderator in my whatnot so you can help me out if you need to, okay? But uh, I, I know that... Uh, Whatnot is pretty good and they do send you notifications if for some reason the person and I'm not going to be doing breaks or anything like that you have to get a separate qualification to do breaks on the channel because they want you to follow all their rules and stuff so we got Bernie H, Big Ray and Matty Ice is there anybody else in here that I did not get yet we're going to move along pretty quick here. The biography is not very big today for Thomas McCarthy. And I do I do like that because that, then when you start everything at a dollar, it increases some time on the bid. So if you have people regular, regularly bidding, it kind of... And eventually it'll clock down when the bidding slows down and stuff. So I think I think I'll be doing the one minute. Getting ready to go now, but I'll be in chat for a few minutes. Oh no problem, Maddie. No problem, Maddie. So let's do that. So we've got everybody in. We got Bernie H, we got Big Ray, and we got Maddie Ice. And I know sometimes people can't make it because they can't make it. But 
we'll see how that does and then I can mainly do everything that I do on my YouTube channel and have my what not be my my sales revenue so I can make sales okay so I'm gonna leave this here right now because we're gonna do trivia next it's one trivia for today just so you do know it's one trivia for today okay there will be two answers there's going to be look let me get the right screen over here two answers for the trivia and five points for the first person that gets both answers correct the link didn't open up my whatnot app for some reason to claim the credit to claim the credit oh is that the wrong one oh um you probably have to create an account do you have an account big ray do you have a whatnot account if if you do you can just go in that way log into your what whatnot app and then create an account if you don't if you do at least you'll be in the right spot I have an account yes okay so I the link didn't open up my whatnot app for some reason to claim the credit hmm you know that's the one that I did from whatnot uh, invite your community share your link when they make a purchase when you make a purchase, a $15 credit will automatically be applied. And then three, earn credit, receive $5 in credit after their first purchase. Yeah, so there you go. So it'll automatically probably have it in your account. It didn't give you the credit because it will be applied when you make a purchase. So when you make your first purchase from me, you'll get a $15 credit. Referred buyers purchase from referring sellers twice as frequently compared to non-referred buyers. Okay, so that's what it says. I'll figure it out. On with the show, thank you. All right. So it's the name game. Okay. So let me go, let me do our birthdays really quick here. Do our birthdays for Wednesday, March the 20th, 2024. The baseball birthdays for today are Joe McGinty. Oh, no. McGinty. McGinty. George Altman, Vern Kennedy, and Stan Spence. And our trivia for today with two correct answers. Name the two most recent players named George to win the National League Most Valuable Player. Okay, so when I read it through a second time, I'll tell you to Okay, start. I'll tell you when to start your trivia guessing when you see it in the chat. So again, it's the name game. Name the two most recent players named George to win the National League Most Valuable Player Awards. Start your trivia guessing now. Vulcan says Kel and Foster. Uh, George Bell and George Brett. And Lockin says, no idea. Lockin, you snuck in here. You snuck in here, Lockin. I gotta give you two entries. Lockin snuck in here and didn't say anything. He must have been lurking about in the background. Ice Kurt says, 
George Brett and George Springer. watching Striker live and forgot laugh out loud no problem it's National Lake <laughs> I think everybody where's is Bernie H here did he just chime in at the beginning and had to take off I know I saw Bernie here he's not guessing or maybe he's looking it up Gray says Bell and Brett. Hmm? Bernie's still here, just not guessing. Okay, so so far I've seen different people get get at least one of the two correct answers, and so far the leaders in that pack is uh, Locken. And Big Ray. Each will get one entry unless somebody comes up with both the correct answers. Okay. Let's see, when do we start? Three. We're at 26. I'll go until 27. Go until twenty seven. Just double check everything. Nope, nobody got both correct. Okay, it looks like Locken and Big Ray are each going to get a point. Okay. There we go. And the trivia guessing. All right. So tomorrow will be an easy one. It'll just be And I'll probably, tomorrow I'll just probably read it through once. And you guys will have to choose the correct answer. Okay? But the name game. Name the two most recent players named George to win the National League Most Valuable Player Awards. Okay? So just so everybody does know, it is George Brett and George Foster. So Locken got Foster and Big Ray got George Brett. Okay, so uh, Big Ray gets a one, get one correct, and Locken 99. Okay, so on my answer sheet on the back here, you can see the answers. It says George Brett and George Foster. And by George, they did it. And by George, they did it three years apart. Brett raked an average for a 390 average in 1980 and slugged 664 in the process, leading the Royals to the pennant. In 1977, Foster became the first big leaguer to hit 50 home runs since Willie Mays in 1965, clubbing 52 as Mays had. 
and driving in 149 runs for the Reds. It was the National League's most RBI since Joe Medwick drove in 154 for the Cardinals in 1937. So there you go. That's why they each got one point. So let me do a refresh here. Scoot this around here. I'm going to put this off to the sidelines here until we get to the end of the show here today. It might be a quick show. It might be a short one. But yeah, so hopefully you guys will click out my link up there, bring you into whatnot, and then uh, look me up and follow me, and you'll be notified. I do have my first auction pending currently for... It's the first Saturday in April. Yeah, I believe it's the 6th of April. Will be my first What Not Sale by Hook or by Crook. I will make that happen. It'll be a, a Saturday evening auction. And yes, most everything will most likely start at a dollar or, high, or higher. There are a few items that I will want, so I'm probably going to look things up and get an estimated low-end starting price for most everything. Okay, so without further ado, we will get in. I don't have any, any baseball cards for Thomas F. McGinty. As we get switched over here to Thomas F. McGinty, one of Boston's Heavenly Twins under manager, Plank Seeley, outstanding base runner who stole 109 bases for the Browns in 1888 and a pioneer in trapping fly balls in the outfield. Holds the National League record for assists in outfield with 33 and with Boston in uh, 1893. Uh, played 1,268 games in the major leagues. So again, let's get in here real quick. We'll get into uh, Tommy McCarthy's biography. Thomas Francis Michael McCarthy. July 24th, 1863 to August the 5th, 1922. Was an American Major League Baseball player and he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1946. Okay. Can't remember if that moved or not. Probably not. That's fine. Okay, so McCarthy was born on July 24th, 1863 in Boston, Massachusetts. He's the eldest son of seven surviving children to Daniel and Sarah McCarthy. Neely. Daniel McCarthy was born in County Kerry, Ireland, after graduating from South Boston's John A. Andrew Grammar School. McCarthy worked for a clothing company during the day and played baseball at night. In 1884, he went to work for a piano company, where he received $18 a week for work on their factory and play for the company baseball team. Later that year, McCarthy joined the Boston Reds in the Union Association as a starting pitcher and outfielder. In limited innings and at bats, he played poorly, batting at a paltry 215 average, and lost all seven of his pitching appearances. McCarthy moved to the National League and played with the Boston Bean Eaters. The following season, the Philadelphia Quakers, the following two years, but failed to bat higher than 200 in any season, although in limited at bats. 
Setting aside aspirations of being a star pitcher, McCarthy finally settled into an everyday position in a lineup in 1888 with the St. Louis Browns in the American Association with the Browns until 19, or 1891. McCarthy scored over 100 runs each season and grew increasingly productive at the plate. He batted 350 in 1890 and drove in 95 runs in 1891. Although the shoddy record keeping of the time uh, prevents an accurate tally, he also asserted himself oh, sorry, as a daring presence on the base paths by some accounts stealing over 100 bases in 1888 and approaching the mark in 1890. McCarthy moved back to the National League to play for the Boston Bean Eaters in 1892 and enjoyed the most productive seasons over the next few years. In 1893, he drove in over 100 runs for the first time in his career, a feat that he repeated in 1894 while hitting 13 home runs. The press of the day called McCarthy and teammate Hugh Duffy the Heavenly Twins. Their Boston team was one of the most successful clubs of the era. McCarthy played for the Brooklyn Bridegrooms in 1896 before retiring. He finished his career with a 292 batting average and 44 home runs and roughly 500 stolen bases. As far as his post-playing career, after his playing career ended, McCarthy served as the head baseball coach at Holy Cross from 1899 to 1900, in 1904 through 1905 and 1916, for Dartmouth in 1906 and 1907, and Boston College in 1920. He was also a scout for the Cincinnati Reds in 1909-12, Boston Braves 13-15, and Boston Red Sox 1920, and managed the Newark Bears in 1918. In 1921, he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers coaching staff. In 1921, McCarthy had a severe attack of double pneumonia. I was in critical condition. He recovered and traveled south for the winter. His health declined when he returned home and in June was diagnosed with cancer. He died on August the 5th, 1922. As far as his Hall of Fame selection, McCarthy's selection to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1946 has always been a controversial one due to his less than spectacular statistics, especially when compared to those of his fellow inductees and some players who have not been honored. In his 2001 book, The Bill James Historical Baseball Abstract, Sabometrical Bill James, made the point that McCarthy was held in such high esteem because of his introduction of the hit-and-run play into the game. This play, among other novel strategies such as a batter to base runner, signals, etc., that he and his Boston teammates utilized were a clever and gentlemanly counter to the cough and tumble. Baltimore style of play, which was at the time giving baseball a bad name, nevertheless, in the same book, James also said that McCarthy is the worst right fielder in the Hall of Fame. As of 2014, McCarthy had the lowest Jaffe wins above replacement scores of any player in the Hall of Fame. According to the SABR, McCarthy is also the only Union Association player elected to the Hall of Fame. So there you have it, short and brief, but Tommy McCarthy's famous part, I guess you could say, and that was the hit and run, the way they started doing signaling to the base runners and stuff, telling them what was coming. So that was pretty good. 
interesting nuances of the game as we know it today. Born July 24, 1863 in Boston, Massachusetts. Died August 5, 1922 at the age of 59 in Boston, Massachusetts. He batted right through right as MLB debut July 10, 1884 for the Boston Reds. Last MLB appearance September 26, 1896 for the Brooklyn Pride Grooms. His MLB statistics, batting average 292, home runs 44, runs batted in 732, and stolen bases 468. As a player, he played for the Boston Reds, 1884, the Boston Beat Eaters, 1885, 1886 and 7 for the Philadelphia Quakers, St. Louis Browns, 1888-91, Boston Bean Eaters, 1892-95, and the Brooklyn Bridegrooms, 1896. As a manager, he managed the St. Louis Browns in 1890, is a member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, inducted in 1946. His election method was the Old Timers Committee. There you have it, Tommy McCarthy, our Hall of Famer for today. Let me put him off to the sideline here, where I do my photography for my eBay store. And let's get back into the chat here. Uh, next, tomorrow's going to be Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey's going to be our Hall of Famer for tomorrow. Nicknamed, of course, some might know him as The Stretch. Chuck's in the house. How you doing there, Chuck? Good afternoon, everyone. You made it. You made it. Just in time, you made it. Don't forget, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Let me do a refresh and see where our thummies up is at. See if we're going to do double duty today or not. What do we got for thumbs up? Six. I show six thumbs up. Make sure you thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Okay. Get that set up. Get off my closed captioning here. Do my refresh. On here. Boom slangs in the house, yo. John Fishman, hide your kids there. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. I'll be in Seattle May 22nd. John, you coming to Seattle? Hide your kids. Hide your wife. I'll be in Seattle May, May 22nd. John, what are you doing in Seattle? What are you coming here for? You won't be far from me. You going to sell pizza here in Seattle now? <laughs> just, just messing with you, John. Nice to have you in with us, John. Haven't seen you in like forever. We're going to get into this here. We got six thumbs up. We'll have to get four more thumbs up. Let's see if we're going to open up Olympic National Park. Yeah, it it, it got here, Mickey. I'm just going to I'm going to set everything in a pile as I open the boxes and then I might just take some time. I mean, if, if you want, I can go grab them quick and show. You sent two more yesterday? Oh, my word. My wife's going to get so mad. But no, that's okay. I told her, somebody keeps sending me these books. And you are. I told her, she said, did you buy this stuff? I'm like, no, somebody's just sending it to me. Good for my, my good friend in New Jersey. Oh, I'm going to put a few few of these guys up. Ah. Don't mind me. Just going to get some some stands here for some good cards if we get some. I think I'll do four like I did yesterday. We'll just have a five. 
on a fifth one on the stand standby here. I don't think you can. No, no, you can barely see that one, right? I can move these over a little bit. I'll do that. If I squirrel these over just a little bit, I think I can get that one in here. There we go. We do five and the box topper will go here. Here's our box topper. I'm getting closer to my set for my box topper. Oh, boom! I got the Griffey. I got the Griffey. I don't know if I have the Griffey already. I do now. We got the Griffey box topper. Did it? Did it say the National League? You sure he didn't play in the National League at any point in his career? Well, we'll have to get in touch with uh, the calendar people and why they put it that way. But I'm just going to go, uh, I've always told everybody, I'm just going to go by what they got on the calendar. I'm sure somebody in their realm did some research of some sort to know what to do with some sort of something. <laughs> he should get the entire five points. He did not. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go by what the trivia people say. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's free, people. All right. So, ba, 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 ba. I have two more and another one I still need to pack. Oh, my word. I can go grab them real quick if you want. Where, where's Mickey? I have them in a stack in my other room. I can bring the whole stack. Why don't we go through this first? And if we don't have the thumbs up, I'll, I'll go grab the book so I can show everybody. Oh yeah, I need a new bookcase, that's for sure. Uh, uh, there, there's no space in my bookcases for them. You should see my office with my non-sports bookcase. But uh, we're going to do these eight packs. If by then I don't have the ten thumbs up, I'll go get Mickey's stack. He said he's got two more on the way he already sent me two flat rate boxes of books and he said he's got two more coming so I'll tell you what I will open those but I'll probably open them one day at a time there is only one National League MVP player named George since 1931 so I think you answered the trick question correctly Jason <laughs> Tell you what, because I'm in a good mood, I'm going to give everybody plus one because different people guessed and they did get one right. So I'm going to give everyone one, two, three, four. Because there's all, there was only four people at the time. We have, uh, we had, uh, Malkin 99, we had Matty Ice, we had Big Ray, we got Boomslangs here. I'll even give Boomslang Boom one. Who else is here now? Malkin, Chuck Dupree, Chuck Dupree's here now. I'll even give him the bonuses. I'll do it for everybody. How's that sound? Uh, who else we got in here? John Fishman's here. I don't think I got in John in here. We 
where are you going on the Olympic Peninsula? Are you going to the Olympic Forest? Is that where you're going, John? I'm going to give you a 2 plus here. Uh, big Ray, Lock and Birdie H, Lock and 99, Big Ray, Big Ray, Bloom Slang. Oh, so you sent them yesterday. So I could get them Thursday or Friday, probably, Mickey. Oh, my word. All the Georges would be proud. There you go. <laughs> I give you all bonus entries there. But let's go through this blaster box. Thank you, dear Griffey. You're smiling at me. I like that one. Let's see who we can get here. Let's see if we can get a good hit. We haven't gotten a hit, a good hit out of this box before. Two, four, six. It's supposed to be five cards. We got a bonus card on this one. Anthony Volpe, rookie card. Base. Austin Riley. Base. Okay, all these will go here. We've got Riley Green rookie card. Um, base. We've got Edgar Martinez. Base for Edgar. And we've got Albert Pujols, color variation. And that's a black for Albert Pujols, future Hall of Famer. Okay, and then we've got Craig Biggio going down into the dugout, dugout, dugout with his base. Two, three, four, five. Okay, pack number two. Oh, let me get this off of here. There we go. All right, pack number two. Okay, we've got uh, Marcus Droman. With the Chicago Cubs. Then we've got uh, Jeter Downs rookie card for the Washington Nationals. Boom! We got a stadium club throwback. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz, oh, let me move these over here. I forgot to move these over. My penny sleeves, so they're handy dandy here. So that's an awesome insert, short print of Jazz Chisholm. And then we've got a Virtuous of Velocity, Adley Rutschman rookie card. And a Key Brian Hayes with the Pittsburgh Pirates base. Oh, I'm going to put this here so I don't make a mess. Okay. So this virtu Virtuous of Velocity. 110.9 miles per hour. I already put that in a penny sleeve. Nice jazz chisholm. Pack number three here. Okay. First one, we got Bobby Witt Jr. for the Kansas City Royals. A base. And I, I give that squint so I can read the back of the card. JJ Blade, rookie card for the Oakland Athletics. Base. We've got the Julio Rodriguez. That's a base. But let me get that penny sleeve for my Julio. Julio there in front of Griffey, my two main men there, Ken Griffey Jr. and the new up-and-coming Ken Griffey Jr. All right, I think we got two color variations. Christy Matthewson, just color variation. That's a red. 
got the black, we got the red, and we got Masataka Yoshida with the Boston, with Boston, with a red landscape, and a Nolan Arenado with the St. Louis Cardinals, looking up, saying, there it is, giving thanks, base, Pack number four, halfway through the box. All about that base. All about that base. I'm not a bass singer, that's for sure. Do, 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 Don Mattingly. Fan favorite. Base. Spencer Steer, rookie card. Oh, we got a triumphant. Uh, Spencer Steer rookie card for the Cincinnati Reds base and we've got a Josh Smith rookie card for the Rangers and a Mookie Betts Mookie Betts triumphant and a Derek Jeter Derek Jeter Base. Mookie Pets T22 Triumphants. Put that on the stand here with uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. there. Alright. Pack number five. Three to go. We got Dwight Gooden with the Mets. Been pulling a bunch of those. Uh, Kevin Gaussman with the Blue Jays. Base. Um, Adolis Garcia with the Rangers. Base. Our backwards, Bobby Witt Jr. color variation. Ooh, sepia. This one's a sepia. And Jordan Groshans, rookie card for the Miami Marlins base. All right, pack number six coming up next. Feels like a light pack. Okay. Tori Hunter with the Twins base. Uh, Marcus Simeon with the Rangers base. Uh, Aaron Judge with the Yankees base. Okay, we've got Chief Fantasy, Bryce Harper for the Phillies, and Hunter Green with the Red Space. Okay. We get uh, Bryce Harper sleeved up here for my inserts. Okay. We're on pack number seven. Did someone say rookie card? All right. Alex. Jay's Mix. There we go. Brooks Robinson with the Baltimore Royals base. All right. Xander Bogarts with San Diego base. Jazz Chisholm Jr. with the Miami Marlins base. And we've got Joe Maurer with the Minnesota Twins, red. And 
Gabriel Moreno, rookie card for the Diamondbacks. Shout out to Kevin. Base. Last pack magic. Let's see if we can get some magic out of this. Last pack here. Then I'll do a refresh and see where we stand on the thummies up. Dale Murphy with the Braves. Dale Murphy with the Braves. Base. Uh, Zach Gallen with the Diamondbacks. Base. Salvador Perez with Kansas City Royals. Base. We've got it. Oh, we got an orange. An orange color. That's usually a short print numbered card. Francisco Alvarez with the Mets. Number seven out of 199. That's a cool card. Last pack, Magic gave it to us. And Mel Ott with the New York Giants. That's the base. Boom. It's top loaded for sure. I'm failing to out. Oh, no problem there, Titus. We'll say a prayer for you. Hopefully you'll get better. Hello, Don. I'm late. I'm feeling sick this morning. You just take care of there, uh, Titus. I'll mark you down as being present right at the end, but that's okay. We'll make sure we say a prayer for you. Hopefully you're feeling better maybe by tomorrow. If not, don't feel bad if you can't make it in here. You're one of my faithfuls. Things come up with life. Can't be avoided. But that was a pretty cool hit there. Pretty cool hit there. Francisco Alvarez. Rookie card for the New York Mets. Short print card. 7 out of 199. That is pretty cool. So not much for the inserts. Not bad. Got the, the throwback stadium club there for Jazz Chisholm Jr. The triumvirate for Moogie Betts. We got a uh, a J-Rod, J-Rod card, Ken Griffey Jr., Master Photo card, G Fantasy, Bryce Harper, Virtuous of Velocity, Kyle Schwarberger, Francisco Alvarez with the Mets, bunch of base cards, one black color variation, one sepia variation, and a couple of reds. eBay special or whatnot. Uh, eventually, once I get finished with all this, I'll probably be throwing a uh, 2023 Top Stadium Club sale up there. And we'll see how good we do on the inserts that I don't need for my personal collection or my Patreons. But yeah, we'll be having fun there with that. Okay, so, oh, let me do a refresh real quick. See if, uh, we might have made 10 thumbs up. Most likely not. We got, well, we got 10 viewers. We got 10 viewers here now. Let's see what we got here. Seven thummies up. So we didn't make it, but let me go next door in my room here. And let me get Mickey's last box that he sent me. These guys can see the, the good books.
leave it here and I'll show you the books one by one. This is all the ones you sent me, Mickey, in the last round here. I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. Let me scooch some of this stuff out of the way. And this, and this, and this, since I highlighted it already. I'll put those right there. So, Mickey sent me this one. Uh, baseball trading cards. This says, uh, can't remember, does it say what year they are? Probably on the back here. These are Topps books. Topps baseball cards for the Philadelphia Phillies. Shows you the cards. Oh, it goes. Oh, wow. It goes. Oh, wow. It goes through the years. So you got 1952, 53, and it goes through. So 52 through. Oh, well, the 80s. 88, Salute to Mike Schmidt, Collector's Corner, my word, pitching records, everything in the back here. This is like, and is this a series there, Mickey? I don't even know if Mickey's still here. Boomslang's still around. He don't, maybe he's done a live stream while he was checking in on my show. But yeah, it looks like each of these start from yeah, it says these books are available. Well, I'll show you. I'm not going to go through them all. It looks like it starts in 1952 to 19 1988. So 52 to 88. That's the Phillies. That one's the Phillies. Then I've got the Athletics here. Same similar book. Then we've got the Atlanta Braves. California Angels. Some, but I don't have them all. <laughs> okay, that's fine. This is pretty neat. Uh, you must have found these in some when you were getting some of your collections. Uh, the Boston Red Sox. Then we got this one here. Um, George F. Will, Men at Work, The Craft of Baseball. It says, uh, Human beings seem to take morose pleasure from believing that once there was a golden age. Some lost Eden or Camelot or superior ancient civilizations people by heroes and demands. An age of greatness long lost and irrevocable. Piffle, things are better than ever, at least in baseball, which is what matters most. So we got that one, and then we've got some Beckett's here. We've got the Beckett Price Guide number 16. This is just going to add to my Beckett Price Guide collections. I'll have to see what, how many I end up having. And then we got, that was 16. This one is 15. I don't know which this one is for sure. Oh, this one's 14. doesn't say 14 on the front, but it does say 14. Oops, got it upside down there for you, don't I? Right. So what I will do was this uh, Mickey look the Philadelphia 
Phillies programs. Laugh out loud. Chuck E. Cheese. But yeah, so I got two more box, flat rate boxes coming in, and you got one more to pack still, huh? So let's see, that'll be two, three, four, five. Five flat rate boxes? My word, Mickey. Appreciate it. And I will put this back in my other room and add my other books when they get and rearrange or stack or do what I got to do to to put all this together. So yes, that was. And there was a f couple other books there, but I'm pretty sure they were from the first box. Some of this might have been. I, I can't remember for sure. Let me put this back and I'll be right back. and wrap things up for today yes Mickey I will I will send you a text when I get them and to, uh, I'll probably do one one if it show if they show if they both show up on Thursday uh, sent two yesterday two tomorrow and then a final one oh my word so two four six seven Oh, seven boxes. The number of perfection. Seven flat rate boxes. Oh, my word. I'm halfway wondering if you might have saved some money sending it media mail. But I appreciate it. <laughs> That's for sure. So until then, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get ready to uh, sign off for today too late now we already closed the shop I'm going to do the two minute warning and finish everything up here then we'll try again yet for that extra opening maybe so yep we're still at seven so let me uh, go over here quick oh wait no I'm right not. I gotta go over here Oh, we can finish up at a decent time today, but I got some more sorting, some eBay postings to put up, some more listings in my eBay store. Uh, I already had them packed, so I just sent them. Wow. On USN 2 tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. So I might get those on the weekend, Saturday maybe. Because it can be priority mail, can be two to three days depending. Okay, so. Uh, stream two minute warning 314 316 will end it uh, Bernie H is here plus two uh, boom slangs in the house still with a plus two Chuck Dupree's here still with a plus two Plus two for Chuck. Who else we got? We got Bernie. We got Boomslang. We got Chuck. Anybody else? Jay's Mix was in the house. Hey, don't her Jay's Mix. I see you made it in here. You get the two plus the one plus the two again. All right. 
we got about a minute to go. We got Bernie. We got Boomslang. We got Chuck here. Who else are we going to get? Big Ray. Got you covered there, Big Ray. Let's see. Got his great takeoff already. And Lockin. And Matty Ice. And that Jay's Mix. And John Fishman. Big Ray, Chuck, Boomslang, Bernie are all here, 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 and here. Right. Okay. We're going to end the two minute warning here. Appreciate everybody being here. This has been Don Blum, the Hall of Fame. And sports cards and more with Hall of Fame Biography, episode 205, Tom McCarthy. With our trivia, 2023 Top Stadium Com Club Blaster Box. Plus, didn't get to the plus, but did the bonus. Showed, showed you what Mickey sent me the other day for a box. And I guess I got four more inbound with a final one to be packaged still. So, appreciate that, Mickey. Uh, appreciate all the friendship in the channel. All the love. Again, go to that link up on, that I got pinned on the top there. Uh, oh, by the way, Mickey, if you're still hanging around and stuff, um, I do have you listed as a moderator when I do my whatnot sales coming up here. I'm going to plan on doing my first one on April the 6th. On April the 6th, I'm going to do my first what not auction so uh, hopefully I won't have nowhere near as many people as uh, Jabs gets to his what not but uh, we'll have some fun with it get some nice cards at good prices hopefully alright so other than that we will uh, continue to move on here we'll continue to go We'll have a whole bunch of fun. And as David says in the end of all his videos, it's not just words, but be blessed. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye for now. And see you around the channel.